so uh, I did my shopping so I'm just going to show you how to build a very soft dingle dangle that we use in fall space specifically for the cob. A dingle dangle is like a bait carrier uh, where you can clip your sinker on you build your bait around it and uh, it's a very very neat bait that you can build in and also you get a lot more distance because you clip your sinker. So how I build mine you can go to a tackle shop you get some uh, some Dacron 80 pound Dacron so it's like a hollow core braid so I asked for a, they're five meters, that's, that's really like two and uh, so like two rand a meter. So you take a piece like that, and then you bought these split rings. So, what I do with the split rings, this will be your clip with your sinker clips on. I've started using or building these about probably three years or so ago, and they really work well. Reasonably inexpensive, also. If you look at these split rings, they probably retail for about 13 rand for 10 of them. So, so this will be a size four stainless steel split ring. Take your hollow core braid or you take your, your dacron stick it through the hole and you just do a normal clinch knot the old fisherman's knot one two three just like that let's pull it out so that will be your clip now you're gonna just choose how long you need to have your braid uh, so your dingle dangle you just do a normal overhand knot normal draining off and that's it that's the base for the dingle dangle and just chop that off okay. okay so now you take a piece of foam you can pre-cut these as well you're going to measure the length of your dingle dangle and trim it off so you're left with with that effect Okay. I prefer just to shape the foam slightly. I'm just going to make a slit halfway through the foam. So, what we do then is take the deck on with a split ring. And there's your dingle dangle. Alright. What I like about this, it's nice and soft. So when the fish takes your bait, there will, there will be days where they will smash anything. Some days they can be really tricky to, to commit to your bait. And having a soft dingle dangle will definitely improve your chances as well. So you can take some of your, your medium latex. I'm just going to give it a couple of wraps just to keep everything together. Let's press it down to the top. Just press it together. Just creating a bit of a firmer base with a dingle dangle. Alright, and there you have it. Right guys, so uh, yeah, the next step is that you complete the dingle dangle. I'm going to use a, in this case, a 6 0, the, uh, the mustard tuna circle. I'm going to pair that with a 0 0.80 hook snoot, the hook trace. So a good way just to get a, how can I put this, uh, just to measure your length uh, for your trace is just get marks in your arm, put it that way. So you're going to have, that would be my whole unit length trace, that would be for pub, so you're just going to go like that. And then more or less your trace will be more or less the same every time. Top that off. Also I'm going to be using a snell, a snell knot with a bigger circle loops. So very, very simple. You're going to, that will be your hook. That will be the line, the, the hook trace. You start from the front. You're going to grip the tag in. You're going to wrap it around the shank. One, two, three, four, five. And the sixth one, the tag end goes back through the arm hook. So you're going to start at the front. And you're going to finish at the back of the hook, the back side. You pull it and that's your snell knot. Nice and neat. You're going to trim off the excess tag in. Next step will be, I'm going to use a size 3, the Black Japan power swivels. I'm going to use a, you can use either a clinch knot or you can use a figure 8 knot. 1, 2, 3. So, go through, wet the knot, and pull it. That's it. Alright. Basic cop trace, your length will be roughly about. Your wrist to your shoulder. 
Okay, now we're gonna add the dingle dangle to this. So what you have here is the, a little knot just to prevent it from sliding off from, from the hook sliding out with the deck run. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the deck run, just gonna push it towards itself, so it's gonna pop open, and the fluff open a bit like that. Create, create a little opening. Now I'm just gonna take the circle looky, pop it in there. Gonna pull through. So you turn that up. Okay, and there you go. So it'll be your 0.80 diameter fishing line or hook trace. Snail knot 0.60 mustard tuna circle with your soft dingle dangle ready to go. So what you're gonna do? Obviously, you're gonna tie a sinker line onto your sinker. When your bait is being built, built, it's gonna pop it in there. You can cast it. Get a lot more distance and it will unclip every single time it hits the water. All right, so just to show you guys again, we've got a 0 0.80 diameter, that's your millimeters. So it's almost one millimeter, 0 0.80. And then we're gonna, yeah, you can work on 36 kilos, 0 0.80. For your sinker line, your sinker line in diameter needs to be thinner. So if your sinker gets stuck, the sinker, uh, the sinker line will break off before your fish or the hook trace breaks off. So what I'm gonna use now will be just the Kingfisher, 0 0.50. So the hook trace is 0 0.80. This is 0 0.50. So with this, you would like the sinker line to be slightly longer than your hook trace. The reason for that, the sinker needs to clip onto the, uh, onto the dingle dangle. And if it's shorter, it won't be able to do that. So I'm gonna show you quickly. Like that. I always prefer to, uh, when I use a I only use single, single barrel swivels or power swivels. I will always have the sinker on the top eye of the swivel where the leader will be attached. The hook will be on the bottom eye of the swivel. Reason for that, it can still swivel. That's the main re reason for a swivel. Not only a connector, it needs to swivel. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of tension in the current. It's going to start bananaing up and it's going to be a mess. So you have your sinker line, top eye. Just going to measure it like that. There's the bottom of your dingle dangle and leave some space for the knot for your sinker. Chop it off, take your sinker, 5 ounce grab sinker. The wire grab is good, especially if you're going to be fishing on clean sand as well. Right, and that is it. So just to show you guys again, size 3 power swivel. There's your hook trace with your dingle dangle and your sinker that will be clipped. There you go. You're going to cast it out, it's going to hit the water or the bottom and it will detach every single time. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe uh, on the Ikita Tackle and Outdoor YouTube channel. Thank you very much.